two-digit addition without regrouping. Addition is a composing strategy in which you combine two numbers. To model this, students need to model both numbers in the problem like this. 43 plus 26. 43 plus 26. It is important to model them with a unit that can be taken apart so that the students can see the proportional difference between the tens and the ones. The best tool for this is interlocking cubes. Base 10 blocks cannot be broken apart or put back together. The one cubes should always be separated and the tens should always be in sticks of tens. Additions should be presented within the context of a problem. For example, there are 43 crayons in the basket. Sarah put 26 more in the basket. How many are in the basket now? Combine the numbers. Put the ones together and the tens together. And count by tens and ones to find the result. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. The conceptual meaning of addition emphasizes the place value when combining multi-digit numbers rather than the traditional algorithm. Two-digit addition with regrouping. When you are solving an addition problem where you have to regroup, you model both numbers and then group the ones and tens together. When you count for the result and get to the next ten, group them together into a new ten stick. For example, there are 17 stickers on the notebook and 28 stickers on the folder. How many stickers have been earned in all? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Solving problems this way allows students to see exactly how the numbers combine rather than following meaningless steps. They can see how these black cubes came from the 17 and the orange cubes came from the 28. Some were combined to create a new 10 and the others are still ones. Subtraction. Subtraction without regrouping. Subtraction is a decomposition strategy. We start with something, take something away, and look at the result or we measure the difference by comparing two numbers. To model this, students should only model the start number, which is 38 in this case. Let's look at this problem. There are 38 students in the gym. Miss Hill leaves and takes her 23 students with her. How many students are left in the gym? We have model 38 and should simply remove two tens and three ones. We count to get the result. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The result is 15, or 1, 10, and 5 ones. Subtraction with regrouping. When you have a subtraction problem that will require regrouping, you model the start number. When attempting to remove the other numbers, students realize that there are not enough ones to subtract. For example, Jamar has 52 chips. He ate 36 of them. How many chips does he have left? 52 is modeled. Students can easily take the three tens of the 36 away, but there are not enough ones to subtract the six ones. One of the remaining tens has to be broken up or regrouped into ones. The whole ten stick must be broken up into ones. The six ones can be taken away now and then count for the result. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we count for the result. 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The result is 16 chips or 1 10 and 6 ones. Solving problems this way allows students to see exactly how the numbers are decomposed or compared rather than following meaningless steps. 